the big companies pulling out of CES makes a lot of sense because we come here to listen to them project what's going to happen for the rest of the year. So big companies come and they make these big statements, but we can actually watch that virtually and not lose a lot. But CES at its core is a trade show where companies come to present themselves to the world. Right, small companies do that, medium-sized companies do that, but for a lot of, especially American companies, this is where you come in order to find the venture capital, to meet the journalists, to tell the stories in order to find that money. And a lot of that is difficult to do virtually because the signal to stories ratio is just too high online. CES is the biggest tech event of the year, and it's usually where we hear the biggest announcements from the biggest names and have all of these companies come together. With so many major players pulling out, you can really feel that CES isn't going to be what we had hoped it would be. Well, of course, we do uh, lots of online shows and online meetings, but there is nothing like meeting in person and uh, feeling that human chemistry. There's a lot of... Uh, a lot of mileage in virtual shows. I mean, I think now the, the industry is going to be hybrid. We're always going to have a, a virtual offering as well as in person. Um, so that's possibly been a good revolution within the industry. We're going to be seeing all kinds of technology at CES. Cryptocurrency, health tech, automotive. It's sort of the catch-all show for anything that's connected to the internet. 